the first stop we've come to this cafe. Please comment below, tell me how I pronounce this. Chicken noodle curry. How cute is this place? I'm on the lookout for a crocodile. It's making me go weird again. I don't know why. Happy National Day, guys. We are out exploring today. We have come to Farrah Park and like Boom Keng area. So there's a couple of places in this area that I've wanted to check out for a while now. And you know me, I love exploring Singapore as much as I can. So yeah, today is a public holiday and come out for a bit of lunch. And then later tonight we are going to Films at the Fort, which is a movie night experience outside, which I'm really looking forward to as well. we've come to this cafe so it's basically i think it was an old hardware shop and they've like turned it into a cafe but it's so so cute so we're gonna go in and get something to eat i think yeah man okay this is the entrance super cute but i think there's an outdoor so cute <laughs> If I try and pronounce it how I <laughs> read it, Chai Seng. What? Hardware. Please comment below, tell me how I pronounce this. I'm so sorry I'm like butchering it. Um, this looks so good though. How cute is this place? It really reminds me, so Justin used to live in Bristol in the UK. And there's a place very similar to this with this like outside courtyard bit. It's really weird. It feels like we're in Bristol. With an old dairy. Oh, was it? So this is an old hardware shop and that was an old dairy place. Yeah, man. We decided to come to a hawker for lunch instead because it's much cheaper. Gone for an Indian feast. We have chicken, tikka I think, rice, butter chicken, curried vegetables and poppadoms of course. Alright guys, so it is later in the evening. It's about 5.30 and now we are heading to Fort Canning for the films at the fort. I think that's what it's called. We're going to go watch The Matrix, which is one of our favourite films and it just happened to be playing today on National Day. So yeah, I'm excited to check it out. Singapore does quite a few of these out outdoor cinema things, but I've never actually been to one. So it should be fun. I'm going to take you guys along. This is so cool. This is my favourite time of night as well. We need to redeem our free cushion, then we can go sit down. Well, we've set up our picnic spot right at the back. And I think we're going to get some food now, and then we bought some picnic bits from Fairprice. So, I've got my spine. That looks so good live saxophone playing over there and everyone's chilling out including this one chilled so we got some snacks from fair price we got some kettle chips some grapes which the lady was <laughs> trying to sell to us where are they from usa she was like these grapes are all the way from usa so we were like okay four dollars for grapes True British picnic style. Got some Tesco jam sandwich creams. I know why you're here, Neil. I know what you've been doing. I know why you hardly sleep. Why you live alone and why night after night you sit at your computer. We are at Bukit Batok food court and we are on our way today to what's it called again? Uh, Sungay Wetlands. Sungay Wetlands. We're not really sure how to pronounce it but I'm sure you guys know where we're talking about but we are heading there but first we have a food stop because we're both starving and this is kind of on the way so yeah never been to Bukit Batok food court before so excited to check it out. thing about this little neighborhood is all pink and purple <laughs> it's so pretty oh my god fun fact Kumon was my first job ever I used to mark the um, the work for kids at Kumon Come to the roof of 
the car park. I just love the views that you can get from the car park. So I really wanted to get a shot of this uh, HDB because I really love the colours. You know my weird obsession with HDBs. But this is such a cool view up here. Oh my god! There's some really nice ones over there as well. Okay, it's way too hot to be doing this. You done? Yeah. I'm done. So we just got to the wetlands. Now we're just on the mud flats. So we're trying to find some stuff here. Spotted our first creature. What on earth is that? Big black eyes. Is it like a toad? But it's clearly... It's, it's a, a toad with a tail? Yeah, because it breeds a land animal, isn't it? That That's so weird. Because it can clearly breathe outside <gasps> of the water. Does anyone know what this is? Oh my god, it's so strange. What is it? I'm on the lookout for a crocodile. Apparently you can see crocodiles here. What, that's my lady over there? Yeah, looks like it. It's so bloody hot. We've come at uh, five o'clock, but it's still just so hot today. Just picked a sunny day. Oh my fucking God. Okay, guys, there is a... Uh, there is a... Crocodile? No, I don't think it's a crocodile. It looks like. <gasps> He's attacked. He's killed it. Oh my god, he's killing it. There's a Komodo. No, it's a monitor. He's killed the monitor lizard. It's not dead yet, it's fighting still. I can't believe they've I can't believe they've done that. Can we go? Yeah. I don't like that. So a few years back I got bitten by a dog, right? And ever since there's like Cameron Highlands we had like an altercation with some stray dogs which ended in me having a full-on panic attack and me seeing these dogs stray dogs eating it's making me go weird again I don't know why so anyway seeing these wild dogs just attack a, a monitor lizard it's just not nice to see and I, I saw the dogs tracks all on the floor and I said I there better not be stray dogs here because I don't want to be there if there is I know they're stray dogs so people can't like help that they're here but if they're here killing wildlife I know it's just nature but to see that really wasn't very nice so we I've heard we heard them barking since we got here up. and they're still barking now so they really had a proper fight with it this like ruined it now because I, I don't even want to go around there if if I know that there's wild dogs wandering around I just I just don't want to be fight. here there's a pack of them, yeah there's a pack of them and they've just killed a lizard so it's like it was big as well big lizard. yeah it was big like you'd think there's someone protecting the wildlife here or something I don't know I don't know what they can implement but there shouldn't be wild dogs around here dog prints are ingrained into the cement so they've obviously always been here but if, if they've just attacked that one today, how many have they killed? They've learned behaviour, they now know that. I know, but why is, that, why is no one doing anything about that? Yeah, that took an unexpected turn, didn't it? Mm -hmm. And it just sucks because we were only there for like 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. But I, I really don't want to walk around when I know that there's wild dogs around. Yeah, but mudskipper is what that animal was. Yeah, mudskipper we found out. Big black eyed mudskippers. Out that I'm like overreacting, but I have a real um, that was awful to watch. It was horrible to watch, and that I that was a big, big lizard. It was, it was that, was, that lizard was bigger than the dog. Yeah, we thought it was a crocodile at first because yeah, there's exactly. crocodiles around here, but yeah, I just have a real fear now of um, 
of being around stray dogs anyway so it's not something i really want to be around so yeah i'm gonna end the vlog here i'm really sorry that was like a miserable ending it seems like a nice place but it just seems like the dogs are always here yeah from the footprints you want somewhere you want to hang around anyway uh, i'm gonna end it here thank you guys for watching as always and we'll see you next time